Okay, so for basophil and mast cell, in, in my last part of the lecture, I said that we're going to move towards the eosinophils. I forgot to mention one thing which was really important, and that is that when the eosinophils and mast eosinophils and the neutrophils and the basophils are called by leukotriene B4 and eotaxin, so we are still on the basophils and mast cells. What do eosinophils do? So eosinophils are brought in here. And in their granules, they have histaminase, do not forget this please, histaminase and aryl sulfate, aryl sulfate. They have two substances. What do these two substances do? Histaminase would go and act on the histamine and, and neutralize it. So one action, histaminase would act on the histamine and neutralize it. So that is how it would try to contain the action of the mast cells. Remember I said that the mast cells are going to call the histamine to eosin to eosinophil, eosin, uh, eosinophil to come and do the function. So one function is histaminase. The second is the aryl sulfate. So the aryl sulfate mediator which is released, that would destroy the slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. So this is how the eosinophil tries to help the situation and reduce the allergic reaction. But the problem is this that in this whole process when the degranulation from eosinophil occurs it also releases some proteases and other substances which we would read in our eosinophil lecture which would cause damage further damage to the tissue. So eosinophil are useful to contain the allergy but they can also cause damage for example they have major basic protein which can cause the damage to the epithelium of the lungs. So okay let us move on to the eosinophils thank you.